All right, all right. Here we are with episode 13 of Adventures in Inbetweening, and I am returning to smears. I can't get enough of smears in multiple images. So I'm uh, working with my two dinosaur images here. The uh, first one was the red, moving to the green. Now, I like, I like referring to reference, and here's an excuse I could use any film, but I, I got to use Charlie Chaplin and his gold rush here. It's beautiful stuff. Something about motion blur, it, motion blur, first of all, let's define it, is basically when an image is moving quickly and a camera captures more than just the single image. It captures some of the before and some of the after image. So something like this is a good example of that. Now, when it comes to animation, we can go much further than that, of course. We can draw multiple hands, like in Alibaba Bunny here, uh, 1957 Warner Brothers, multiple arms. You can see even this fourth arm here. It doesn't even need an arm. It's just the hand suggesting the foreshortened arm. Look at this here. Look at these beautiful silhouettes with these arms here. Uh, every hand, every arm, nothing's overlapping there. All extremely clear, incredibly uh, entertaining to look at. Uh, another uh, version here, 1950. Look at the smears. Look how look at that hat is stretched out. It's it's saying here's where it was, here's where it's going. We're just going to make it longer. Even the head here, it's it's not following a perfect arc, but we get the idea. And then watch the, uh, the arm trailing behind here and the clothing just gets into there. And then here, look, I mean, we've got, you know, 15 different multiples going along here, getting into the final position. Uh, this isn't so much smears and multiples, but this is just terrific drawings. And each drawing is clearly showing the direction of what's happening. It's another thing to remember is always showing the direction, lines of action, trailing, overlap, uh, terrific stuff. And we usually think of Warner Brothers as more kind of uh, smeary and multiply, but Disney would do it too sometimes, the artists. I mean, look at this crazy stuff that they were doing here with Pluto from 1936. So, six, eight, ten drawings of the feet and the legs here. And you can see there's a little bit of dry brushing going on there just for some suggestion of color. Terrific stuff, absolutely just so exaggerated. And it's, it's again, simulating that sense of motion blur that we'd see in live action. And, and, as my, and we might even equate it to real life. When you see something go so quickly, you just catch a blur of it. So, returning to my uh, drawings here, I, I was using the onion skinning early on with the red drawing beginning uh, being the previous drawing and the green drawing being the drawing I'm working towards. Sometimes I have onion skinning on, like here when I'm doing the tail, and it's necessary. Uh, and here I'm switching uh, the canvas around so I can work with the curve of my uh, shoulder there, the curve of my wrist. Uh, but when I turn onion skinning off and I'm just flipping, then I'm, I'm focused more just on the uh, on the flow of the drawings rather than the accuracy. Onion, I mean, maybe that's a good way to break it down. Onion skinning is to get the accuracy of the drawings, and flipping is more to get the flow and, and the, the feel of them, the emotion, rather than the technical. So here you see I've uh, taken those hands and I'm making them go out and then back in rather than just keeping them in place there, giving some more visual interest to it. You can see that the tail is dragging, the tail tip is showing the direction of the uh, drawing. Because I did this face front on, there's not a lot of direction there. I, I, ideally, every drawing you want to show the direction that it's going. So the tail is clearly helping show the direction as well as the hands there. And you can see I'm going in and coloring it here, adding my second layer of green tones. I'm uh, thinking about when you're coloring uh, the multiple images too. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it could be pretty loose. You can see what I've done with the arms there. It's 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 not exact. It's it's more about getting a, like I say the feel of it all, getting the second layer of tones, painting those teeth in there. Got to get all that, and feeling pretty good about that. A little bit of touch up there, a little bit of extra tones. Yeah, the, refining those lines a bit more. Let's play this. Okay, and I've added in an extra overshoot and settle drawing there. Here it is, one time speed. Yep. I like it. That's my smear drawing. Thanks for checking it out. I'll see you next time.